Dunderberg at night is a different kind of thing, especially when you're a multi-drop driver. You, if you deliver in the middle of nowhere and it's like pitch black, you're screwed. <laughs> and you have a named house. That happens almost all the time. So, yeah, it's far more inconvenient. But today I glimpsed night, rather. I glimpsed something that I didn't didn't feel in a while. Delivering at night. Driving through the city at night. Driving through anything at night, basically. It's like different kind of feeling. When you just drive and drive and drive and there's no one around. And it is so peaceful and so quiet. And you see... And you look into the trees. There's so much mystery in it. It's such a weird feeling. It's a feeling that you're definitely not alone, but not in this horror-like sense, isn't what I mean. Uh, although this can happen too, you know. Uh, there's a different kind of life that is asleep during night. Or whenever we put ourselves to sleep. A different mystery awakens. It is such a strangely pleasant feeling. It feels like at home. And it kind of reminds me of... I, what is it, was it Lovecraft's story? Or was it Edgar Allan Poe's story? I think it was, I think it was Edgar Allan Poe's story, but I'm not sure right now. It was about a tomb. It was about a guy that used to find his peace find his home, let's say, in front of the family's tomb. He used to fall asleep at the door, dreaming about a door opening for him so that he can enter and rest in there. <laughs> Classic and garable story, not thinking about it. It was definitely his. I kind of get it. I kind of get it in a strange way. What I felt reading this story is what I feel whenever I drive at night. It's so home-like and mysterious at the same time. The only thing is that I wouldn't say that this is a place where I would fall asleep. Because I actually feel extremely alive driving through the forest at night, driving through empty roads at night. Just for the record, it's hardly night right now, it's like 8 p.m., but it happens to be pitch black because it's October, and it just feels like it. Because I'm pretty sure I've been driving on the very same road I drive right now, Three months ago, I didn't have that feeling, but simply because it's darker, way darker, I kind of feel like... I kind of feel it. I have a feeling that, as most of my episodes, sorry, every single one of my episodes are completely useless bullshit, me shit talking for no reason whatsoever. This one makes the least sense. And yes, it feels the most personal at the same time to me. I don't know if it does for a potential listener. If you happen to be one, you're very, very lucky because either 90 or 95% of the time, I really didn't make like very specific calculations, but something between that, I have no views. So if you're one, Cheer it, because you might be the only one. That's how I feel about the night. Very, very inspiring time. I love autumn. I love autumn. I love winter. I love like dark seasons. I love them. I always did. There is so much life in it. A lot of people are like, when you 
turn off the light. A lot of people are like uh, those birds. When you put turn off the light, they immediately go to sleep. You know, like birds are usually like that, or some birds are at least. Uh, but I am not. I'm at least not outside. I'm me being inside my house is a different story. I feel so alive and so connected in such a strange and mysterious manner. Alien and familiar at the same time. Alien because I feel connected to something that is definitely not me. But familiar because the connection is quite strong. It's so strong that it's like a limp I like, share with an entity I feel connected to. That's how I feel about it. It's so strange. It is so strange. And I love it.